Hey, um, I just want to do a quick video on making like a gable end cut. Um, people have asked me about it and I just keep forgetting to get one up and I usually just walk people through it real quick. Most people can figure it out, but um, just in case you're wondering and we can add this to our manuals, this is how you would make an easy gable end cut. So let's just pretend we're coming up the side of the house, up the side of the gable. Um, our track is coming up this way. We take a full piece, butt it up to the one on the bottom, and then we take a marker or a pen or a pencil and mark right where your peak, the top of your peak is. So if you make a mark right there, say so that's where right at the point of the, of the gable end. Now we'll take your tin snips and just make a cut up the side like so, like that. Flip it over. Line it up so you get the same, cut at the same spot. Give that a snip. Now you can set it on there and just bend it to your peak, however, whatever angle your peak's at. And uh, that makes it super easy. Um, if you have an off angle peak, it just makes things easier. You can bend those tabs down after. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, you'll get this little, bit of a reveal here. Uh, guys, if you want to um, put some silicone in here, you can if you're worried about critters getting in. Most of the time, just the way the saw fit, J channel and stuff like that line up, you're only gonna see like the very bottom of this little uh, hole here. And you're, you're talking about the highest point in your house, so no one's gonna see it from down on the ground. Uh, yeah, that's really it. It's a super easy way to do it, and it forms to any angle and it's two quick cuts and you basically got her there. You can do, um, you could use a speed square and you know, make your angled cuts if you want and make something nice and neat like that. If you want to do it that way, you can. Uh, really easy if you had like a miter saw and you can just set the angle and cut both ends and, and miter them. Um, but really for most installations, this is gonna work just fine. Like I said, you put a little black silicone in there or clear silicone fill that gap but for the most part everyone does it like that uh, let me know if there's another way to do it but as far as i'm concerned that's the best way thanks bye